so this is the beginning of my day. Gonna take the elevator down and then go to the um, conference. It's gonna be about like a, oh, 10 minute, maybe 15 minute walk to my first class. And uh, my brain is a little bit better <laughs> from yesterday <laughs> to actually soak up some more knowledge. <laughs> All right, so I'm here in my usual station. Um, I like to sit in the front. They're the presenters. And that helps me focus. I don't pay too attention to anybody's uh, back of the head. It's easier for me to... Today I didn't bring the iPad. Well, I did bring the iPad. But I didn't bring uh, my keyboard. I decided to bring the laptop instead. Plug in the back real quick right here. And I'm going to duel by taking pictures with my iPad and typing notes with my laptop. So I am on my lunch break. And... I actually get a free lunch. Yesterday I bought lunch, but this free lunch is going to help save the district some money <laughs> because they don't have to reimburse me for whatever I spent. So what did I get? I got some chips, I got a brownie, I got a, a sandwich, turkey sandwich. Apple a day keeps the doctor away, but I think this apple's for the teacher. Because I am a teacher. <laughs> a bottle of water. And some Mac. Return of the Mac. Anyways. So, um, conference has been pretty good so far. So, I might actually switch over here to what I've learned from uh, today. There was so much. So, today, the most interesting acronym I learned today was VCR. And it's not meant to be the VCR that we had back in the days. It actually means video completion rate. And that's actually an advertisement term. So that was pretty interesting um, to hear that. And I got all excited. I actually know an acronym. And then she's like, uh, yeah, video completion rate. So that was pretty funny. So the takeaway from today so far is that um, the media landscape is changing and advertisement is changing and uh, a lot more people are starting to um, watch videos for ads and not so much in the print uh, like newspaper and such so a lot of today's technology is actually pushing everyone towards just watching a lot of content that's video based I wanted to thank this person here next to me for scooting over and letting me sit next to him. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank sir. You. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, just wondering, where are you from? Uh, from Japan. You're from Japan? Yes. Oh, wow. Which part of Japan? Huh? Which part? Oh, Tokyo. Tokyo? Yes. Oh, what do you do in Tokyo? Uh, I'm broadcaster, uh, TV, TV broadcaster. TV broadcaster, you hear that? <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much for um, letting me sit next to you and um, enjoying our meal together. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have fun at NAB. <laughs> my new friend. <laughs> so I need to fix my collar, but I was protecting my neck from the sun. I was sitting around, uh, you know, talking to Saito. I just met him. We talked about how he's a, uh, you know, broadcasting engineer and he's here to learn some new uh, broadcasting technology um, regarding how we do it here in America. It's kind of, kind of, kind of cool to meet up with um, people who, you know, who barely speak English, but they come out here and they still try to learn and improve what they do. And, you know, that's something you just always try to preach to your students. But um, whether they pick it up or not, you know, it's really up to the individual students. But the key to the success really is you have to constantly keep learning, like, I'm here learning about NAB. I'm here learning about broadcasting. So here's a little bit of the, the kind of like the show floor. But this is really not like the show floor, show floor yet. I'll get to that on Monday, tomorrow. <laughs> okay, well check this out. Oh, excuse me. Who the 
heck is controlling that? <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. I made a new friend. Hi. <laughs> I didn't get your name yet. I'm Katie. Hi, Katie. I'm to win. So she's an event photographer, and so am I. <laughs> Weddings. <laughs> we were just talking about how we need to save our backs because of all these yes. gigantic cameras and lenses and whatnot. So yeah, she tried the spider but it kept pulling her pants down and I could totally relate. <laughs> So now I'm on a rolly bag when I'm walking around. I'll put one camera in the rolly bag and then I'm looking into lighter options now. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to convince her to buy into the four, micro four third system like I have. <laughs> well, cool. <laughs> well, uh, we're about to start our next session of learning, and so I'm gonna let her do her job, and I'm gonna go back to my job of learning. <laughs> Look at that, all set up and ready to go. All right, see bye. Bye. <laughs> I just got out of a class uh, regarding how AI, artificial intelligence, can aggregate information about you know your user search and stuff like that and your browser history and all that to insert ads specific ads that are targeted for you but some of the things that was discussed was interesting that one of the lady the lady person who was speaking she said that you know the, the, regarding whatever AI can possibly do for us it's still not gonna be a replacement for great journalism and that's and that's the human element that's probably not going to change. And I'm going to have to agree with her on that. That the human element of ingenuity, I don't know if you can teach that to something that's artificially, you know, artificial intelligence. So right now I'm taking a break from uh, broadcasting because the next class is about uh, new business in connected cars, meaning automated cars. And I'm, I'm not really interested in learning about that. So I'm going to go to the post-production world keynote speaker and he's going to talk about post-production and um, Resolve, Da Vinci Resolve to be exact. And I know that that's an up, up and coming software that uh, the industry might be leaning towards and you know with Premiere kind of lagging behind a little bit and Final Cut is mostly for students. I'm, I'm thinking the market might move towards Resolve and I plan on learning that in the summer myself. So taking a walk basically across campus right here with my heavy old backpack to go to this class in the world of cinema because right now I'm leaving the world of broadcasting. Okay so this class has a lot of people interested in it and these are all the people who are going in and there was a line that was much longer earlier right here on the side ma'am. Finding the right spot to sit is kind of hard. Well, I guess I'll pull out the uh, yeah, yeah. pull out the iPad for this. I'll sit in the front here. Okay, hello. Okay, I guess I'll sit in the front right here so I can see the speakers. So I just finished my last class and um, definitely an interesting class because I learned a lot more about Resolve and the people who use Resolve at Digital Film Tree. And the group of people over there, they're like super small, you know. Um, I might even zoom in and post just to show you, but I'm gonna walk back to my uh, hotel now and decompress a little bit. Um, great day today. I mean, I got I got to quote Ice Cube. Today was a good day because I've networked with so many people, and I, I'm gonna bring some of the folks from Digital Film Tree to actually come and guest speak at my class. And so, I mean, one of my goals have been met. Hi there. Hey, great working on the, uh, the camera. Hey. <laughs> so he was, he was actually recording that last class I was in. And, but anyways, um, I'm just excited to bring these people to guest speak in the classroom because they're going to be the ones who are going to excite the kids even more regarding filmmaking and broadcasting. So, yeah. Yeah. today, was a good day. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording.